to another episode of Cooking with Craig. Today, we're doing the other half of that apple and rhubarb stewed down uh, fruit that we did on our last Cooking with Craig. We're turning this into a rhubarb and apple crumble. That's right, an apple, a rhubarb and apple crumble. I haven't had one of these in a long time, so what you do need to do this is uh, some stewed down fruits, which I have the other half of my uh, rhubarbs and apple there. You need some ramekins or a casserole dish. I'm using four little ramekins, so I'll have four little serves. I'm going to make my crumble with flour, butter, and some quick oats. Now, not not rolled oats. The rolled oats are the big ones. These are the quick oats. These are smaller. And they're uh, they've yeah, they're, 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 they're better for this, uh, this, this uh, from, what I, uh, from what I've worked out. Also, I'm also going to be adding in some vanilla essence and a little bit of sugar. Just a little bit. Alright, so, uh, I'm now going to measure out uh, two, or one, one, two to two cups of, uh, of flour. Find out what that weighs, and then I'm going to put in the same amount of weight in butter. Alright. Let's get this onto a time lapse because I'm going to have to be uh, crumbling, <laughs> that's why it's called a crumble, that butter up into that flour. All right, time lapse time. All right, so I've got the oven set to 180 degrees Celsius. I've now finished my crumble. I've just drizzled on the top uh, a little bit of vanilla essence to give it that vanilla-y flavor. I've got my stewed down fruit and my ramekins ready to go. All right, let's uh, get these all ready to put, ready to go in the oven. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop of this in each. Now, they look a little bit less than what I thought I, I actually had, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some uh, tin pears, and I'm going to add to this as well. So I found some tin peaches. They go perfectly with this. All right, let's get some of these in there. All right, that's those. Put in our crumble on top. So the crumble was one cup of quick oats, two cups of plain flour, 250 to 280 grams of butter, so it's about half-half with the, uh, the butter to the flour, um, and about a quarter of a cup of sugar and drizzled vanilla essence. Crumble, rub, rub your uh, warm or cold, not refrigerated, but butter through your flour. So it comes up like this. this. This stuff can be put aside in the freezer and until you need to use another crumb, crumble next time. All right, so my oven is set to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna cook this for approximately 20 minutes until that's gone to golden brown on top. Let's come back when this is done. And that's done. They've been in the oven for 20 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. As you can see, all the butters Cook down into the into the uh, the rhubarb and apple and peach. The top of the crust has started to go a little bit golden brown. The oats look awesome and it's starting to ooze out that awesome, awesome syrup that has been cooked in. This is how easy it is to make it. Rhubarb, apple, and peach crumble. Just remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget comments, questions, or maybe other things you'd like to see crumbled. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below on YouTube. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get notified when I do these. Cooking with Craig segments, my daily vlogs, urban explorer, uh, car maintenance, checkout basket, you name it. I film it, it ends up on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video.